I was still staying on politics, let's tell you that the Labour Party presidential candidate, uh, Peter Obi, has once again reiterated his commitment to moving Nigeria from a consumer nation to a producer nation if elected. He is also planning to lead an agrarian revolution, beginning with the arable land in Niger State, being the largest state in the country. Chidemi Bamei has details. The campaign train of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi landed in Mina Airport that has long stopped commercial operations. The team was greeted by party supporters and a cultural troupe dancing and singing his praise. <laughs> The team headed to the palace of the Emir of Mina to honor the ruling monarch, a highly commendable gesture in Africa. And from there, the train entered the polo ground, venue of the campaign to meet a mammoth crowd of mostly young people. While convincing the people of the need to vote him, Peter Obi said Niger Lights should consider the insecurity that has kept the state under siege for a long time. We said a new Nigeria is possible. You will be part of that new Nigeria. That despite the fact that the state hosts four hydroelectric power dams, the people live without power, which has made it difficult for businesses to grow. He promised to declare war on the power sector and lead an agrarian revolution from the state if elected as president. What we say we are going to do is to have agrarian revolution. And we cannot start a revolution without cultivating the land in Niger State. If we cultivate that land, you will have jobs. You will have opportunity. The vice presidential candidate Ahmed Dati said it is time to begin healing and stop killings in the country. We will stop the killing and start the healing. We will stop the stealing and start the keeping. We will stop the slide of our society and start the climb of our society. During campaigns, lofty promises are made to the people. And oftentimes when the people get into power, they often do not get to see these promises come to pass. But the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi said the people should note their promises to them. If they eventually come into power, and they should hold them accountable. Human rights activist Aisha Yusufu led the party supporters to observe a mini silence in honor of the Catholic priest that was killed in Kafin Koro. That those who have been killed will not be killed again. The next to be killed are you and I who are alive. And indeed, we must do the needful to ensure that every life and property is protected. The father enjoined Nigerians to make their choices in the forthcoming elections based on character and competence, not tribe and religion.